Streaming. Streaming. Hi, everybody. It's Rob Nick here, and something that I've been working on for a very, very long time, probably more than six months, is a challenge in the original Diablo 3. Now, this was the original uh, version that was never patched on the PlayStation 3. So it's not the patched version, it's not the Reaper of Souls, it's literally version 1.03, which is what shipped on an original disc, um, and I can probably dig out the disc in a moment, um, with, with a single patch that I suppose fixed some day one issues. And on the screen there, it's, a, it's very hard to tell, but the last trophy I've got before getting the Platinum is the All That Glitters trophy. Now that requires you to get 5 million gold, which might sound easy, but this is going to be 5,000 gold that you pick up off the ground. So it's not money that you sell from loot. So this is literally money that's dropped by um, killing monsters um, or opening chests. Um, and it's a very, very long, hard and arduous journey, and it all relies on um, bumping up your your gold uh, your gold find um, attribute. Now, I've been using a little spreadsheet that uh, for the past six months that tells me how, on average, how many more runs to go. And my spreadsheet has finally told me that I have zero more runs to go, and that's because I've literally got just over uh, or just under 14,000 gold to go. So let's do it. Let's hope I don't make a mess of it. Um, I'm using a witch doctor and there was no real good reason that I was using a witch doctor. It just happened to be my best character. And also for keyboard management, all I have to do is hold down the um, X button, which is actually worn off on my, on my controller. I don't know if it's going to come through. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see the controller, but it's literally worn off. So, 14,000 gold. Oh, I know these runs so, so well. All right, let's see if we can't do this quickly. It might take about five minutes. It all depends. Sometimes this little monster here will drop a whole bunch of gold. I've even seen him drop up to 1,000 gold, but he didn't do it that time. Tom Nick is right next to me watching. Thank you, Thomas, for being here to help me get through this. Thomas isn't talking at the moment, but he is next to me. This bit might be a little boring. Oh, okay, this is good. Those are um, special monsters. They're harder to kill, but they drop lots of... Ah! Let's hopefully I don't do anything embarrassing and die. It doesn't really matter if I do, it just means that the run takes a little longer. It's a little hard to tell. Oh, there's a chest there as well, which is good. Okay, you see some gold there. We a whole bunch of gold dropped. Okay, actually I might just very quickly oops, not that button show you my gold find based on the difficulty level that I'm running and so forth my gold find here is 203% so obviously the higher the percentage the better go back to your challenges real quick what are we down to we must be down to about 11,000 I reckon yep something like that won't take long Now, if I can find a treasure goblin that will, he almost always drops about 10,000 gold, so it could be over real quick. But knowing my luck, he won't come. Sometimes you do, you get lucky runs, sometimes you don't. What I've been doing is on and off, doing a run a day. There was a while there where I took a long break. Smashing barrels will drop gold sometimes, so it's worth doing that. 
but the treasure goblins or the treasure pick me uh, pygmies um, if you can find them you you want to chase them at all costs because they will um, they will drop heaps of gold especially if you kill them I'm not going to go in that door because if it doesn't open, then it's just a normal storeroom. If it does open, then there's elite monsters in there which are worth getting. There's a fairly big fight coming up next. Not so, not that it's a boss fight, but there's a big, large group just here. There's a big carrier guy that'll come out. There he is. A lot of the levels are completely scripted. There's random events on them, but a lot of the monster spawns are totally uh, scripted. Another quick check. We've got to be close. Oh, less than 8k to go. A treasure goblin would just about put it over. Sometimes you can have lucky runs where you just get much more gold than normal. This one doesn't feel like it. Okay, we've got an elite bunch. You do have to be kept. Oh, these are jailers, so they're going to pin me down. But they're not so bad. And 
they definitely dropped more gold, significantly more gold. So that's good. Uh, these guys are resurrecting little mobs. So I've got to get rid of them first. That can be a pain. A little event. This guy is going to die. We go up here, but this actually gets you quite a bit of good gold. This might be just enough, maybe. There's always two of those birds. Oh, oh, oh! There we got it. Treasure. All the glitters. And then we should be looking at the platinum. It might take a little while to come up. All the glitters and the platy. Oh my God. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Tom Nick, for sitting and watching. Hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Uh, it is on Twitch and I'm going to record it for prosperity because I've been uh, working on this for an incredibly long time. I actually got my platy number 100 yesterday, which was for the Wolf Amongst Us. It was supposed to be this platinum, but I uh, I got my maths wrong. Um, yeah, insane. I can't believe I finally did it. Um, it's easily six months that I've been grinding this out. So... Uh, everybody that's watching, hello, a shout out to Tracy, uh, who is out there watching, my gamer, the gamer girl from Perth, who's a good friend of mine. Thank you, Tracy, for your encouragement. I'm going to go back to town and take a well-earned rest. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe during uh, the crazy madness that's going on uh, in the world right now. This is Rob Nick signing off.